All right, let's try this. <sighs> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big, bustling, robust town. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place, a great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Struck with toads work. So stifling, stifling. What do I want, like, the little child, like, on the chance to look around my own and see what I want? But now that I'm doing it all, I see this has a very, uh, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Do you mean. Won't you buy something out of a wire and sell with some knickknacks and do that? Oh, well, um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It said this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box is a magic lock and only will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't open for such as a budge if someone as myself touches it. Oh. I know, the box will look a few messy than you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there would be no use for someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hand and see what happens. Um, alright, what's the harm? I'll try to open it. I'm recording this as of... Well... As of... When my school finished. <laughs> the last semester is officially over. That's right, it's only May. Early May, my semester's over. Mario game on the 64. And this intro looks a lot like that one. <clears throat> also, sorry if this sounds a little weird. I'm playing the 
lose on web pass. Hey bro, check it out, I learned from Princess Peach your life for you. I'll just delete it to you, how does that sound? Ahem, now let's see here. You will, of course, watch you. <coughs> I have included the map with a slither, so please bring it with you when you come. Then I'll meet you all for That means you must come. Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's, there's a what there's a water dollar map in here with the letter. Check it out. Mundo, that means freedom. You're all doing great. I'm sorry, there won't be much room for commentary in this first part, but I'll get to that later. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogue You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Yeah, we're getting a little bit lag here in this first part. I do apologize. Back after this part, I'm going to mess around my settings a bit more. I must apologize, sir. I was delayed just a bit by one pirate weapon. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sort of tales that were falling away here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you said that the princess waiting for you here? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Mario took the ship from America. To... Detroit. Welcome to Detroit, everyone. I was just joking. Want to just say... There's a little bit. Like a sound, just for a little bit. Or not. Alright. <coughs> hey, what you want? Get away from me! Please! Oh, how long is your wet hat? I know it's tough for you, but don't break up with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal star. Well, now I'm going to go. Now I'm going to be asking. So be a good girl. Let's tell us what you know. Right now. Never. I was saving it, you creep. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you was met with an untimely demise. Fuck, 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 froggy. Boys were taking the firebrand to a boyfriend. As you can add on your own way out. Did you think you're so ain't chump? 
RPG. Okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time! Someone that sounds like a chain smoker. Princess Peach? What? Hey, boogie, boogie. If it is the boss, the Mario. Oh. Stay down, bro. The boy shed this great. How that road tastes, punk. Are you okay? That. Those chirps. 
We won't forget this. Don't look quite since popping into one another this all place. Hmm. <laughs> so it's funny, Master Mario. What the world brings you to a little bug? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach said you're a little treasure map. Then she told you she'd meet you here at the airport? Intriguing. You're asking me what Princess Peach is? I'm not about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a proper fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my offer for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. <laughs> you know how to have so long she is, Mario. As a soul, she'd be back momentarily. But this point, I feel we must embrace possibly that she may never return. I feel like I lost what to do. I feel like I was worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave the task to you. I believe I'll be climbing in over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly when your HP is running low. Just drop it, just drop one in! Haha! <laughs> no one laughed at that. Aww. Yes, anyway, a little rest and you'll fill all of your HP. And FE and star points, which I have not with me going on. Ignore that I said star points, okay? That word never happened. I must say, the rest of this town's a bit. Rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach, he me like preach the Mushroom Kingdom princess. This princess who always gets stabbed by Bowser the Koopa King? The one you rescued? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that map. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. I'll show him your map. And we started looking for the treasure, and the main one comes from speech. Goobella's voice is literally changing every single sentence. I apologize for that. <sighs> okay, this next one is it, I promise. Great! We're all good then, let's go, Mario! <coughs> Goodbye, enjoy the world! Ability, a private. Respect the information about nearby people, places, and all the <laughs> This is not me dying calling. <laughs> this is not me dying calling at all. This is Roport Block. This is Roport Block, the center of town, the main business district. Everyone in the world a requirement for the University of Goom? Or is Goombella just fucking stalking all these people in her free time? <clears throat> so you know everything about everyone in this town, but you don't know where your professor lives. Actually, that's good considering that part of where everyone else was. Professor spared himself from being stalked that much for now. Anyway! <clears throat> So keep an eye out! Here's what Professor Freddy looks like! I am presenting you an image through a speech bubble! Yay! Anyway, with that being said, this episode comes to actually almost 20 minutes. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, I want to say here, guys. I'll see you in the next part. Which hopefully will be set up by then. Until then, bye-bye.